Hello, in this video I will explain what I'm going to add this uh, whole video tutorial series. Recently I created this uh, uh, short video clip just for personal uh, test. So when I create this one I use the motion capture data and I edit the motion capture data and some are keyframe animation, some are motion capture data and and I rendered this animation in Unreal. It was my first time to render in Unreal with the using sequencer, and I found this one of the uh, best way to render short clip, and it's, it makes really easy to add effect like uh, like sword trail, like this or this blood effect. I somehow I bought in Unreal Market and some are free, some are you have to pay, but it's not really expensive. So yeah, I will explain how I added this effect to, uh, and then... So let me show you how I edited this uh, main character. I will roughly show you how I edited this mocap data. As you can see here, this one uh, was raw mocap data that I found in local commotion library and I will explain later how you get this mocap data it was free mocap data and I apply that mocap data to my character then uh, still raw mocap data and I create I edited on top of this base animation I edited that motion be stronger and then yeah this is still here this looks better than previous but it's too fast which makes really light the, the weapon looks a bit light so I change the timing and pose a little bit so this looks happier than before and also I have some secondary motions on top of this character so and then the end this was a uh, final animation so compare compare this first uh, mocap data this the final motion looks uh, dynamic so yeah I will explain how uh, how I edit everyone has like a uh, different method to edit mocap data so it's not like mm, this is the best way to edit mocap data I'm not going to I'm not saying that but it's one of the way uh, you can see this is uh, one of the way you edit mocap data and you can try this way and if it's good you can just uh, uh, try this way or you can just uh, apply this uh, this workflow and then you can improve uh, you, in your own way so and then and then after that I will explain in Unreal I added that uh, I imported that motion in Unreal so like, like this is all the motion on in Unreal and I use some zombie character that I uh, uh, purchased in Unreal Market and and this some motions are from Mixamo website which is awesome they have a bunch of different mocap data and they all free you can retarget that motion to your on your character I will also explain that how you can retarget those motions and then finally you, I use this, this sequencer I can explain how I set this scene and there is some like basic stuff you can it, uh, it will help you when you create the scene so the final scene was like this one is a bit looks different with the video clip. I just changed a bit the camera. I changed a bit. Uh, so but still it's quite the same. And I used the dynamic. I mixed uh, uh, physics for this physics for this zombie character when zombie die. I used the beginning is mocap data at the beginning is uh, I think it's better to show you here so when he die is uh, till here is mocap data and then after when he fall down is physics so uh, 
So you can mix the physics and uh, uh, keyframe motion or mocap data. So if I turn on the physics, so it goes like this. So it's when it mix this physics with the motion, it will look like when it's uh, so the motion mix with the physics, it look like this. Let's try again. If it like from the beginning, it will uh, work. So then this one, the second one is same after after this uh, this walking motion and then when he got hit I just made from this one I just made him just use the physics so when he fall down it's all uh, simulation physics simulation so yeah okay I will explain all this workflow on my video tutorial so please subscribe my channel and if you click the like button, it will help me to make this tutorial. Thank you.